Hello everyone, it is Teacher Marianne here from HelloTeacherMarianne.com and on this channel you'll find videos all about helping you teach online where I'm bringing to you valuable tips, insight, and need-to-know information. If you are familiar with my channel, you know that I work for VIP Kid and you may have heard that I recently started teaching for OutSchool as well. Today, I'm going to share the pros and cons of each and why I still work for both companies. Now go ahead and hit subscribe and hit the bell if you don't want to miss these videos. Also, give this video a like if you find it useful. Now, pro and con number one, the hours. Yep. I listed that as a pro and a con. With VIP Kid, you work very early in the morning or very late at night. I did this as a pro and a con because I've always considered it a huge bonus that I can work while my kids are sleeping and be finished with work by the time it's time to start our homeschool day every day. Also, VIP Kid changed my body clock from a night owl to a very early morning person. And I am so much more productive as an early bird than I was as a night owl. However, you may feel differently about getting up so early in the morning to teach, so the hours of VIP Kid might be a con for you. Now, without school, we can work regular hours, basically 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Now, that is a pro for me as well because it doesn't interfere with my VIP kid hours. If you don't want to get up super early to teach, this is definitely a pro for you. Number two what you teach. With VIP Kid, you strictly teach English lessons to Chinese children. And without school, you teach whatever you want. I do believe there is something to be said about not really having to think about what you're going to teach every day. Just show up. And because you teach every lesson within a level of VIP Kid basically the exact same way, you get to the point where you can just log on to your computer, show up for class, and teach without ever really looking at lessons ahead of time. As of this recording, I've taught over 3,700 VIP Kid classes, and I don't remember the last time I looked at an actual lesson beforehand. I simply just look at the titles and jot down the titles of each of my classes for the next day so that I know what reward I'm going to use. By the way, check out my video for fast class prep for VIP Kid. Even though I've cut down my classes for VIP Kid from about 50 to week to 30 a week, I still very much appreciate every morning the fact that I can kind of just roll out of bed and show up at my computer and start teaching and get paid pretty well to do so. Without school, you get to teach whatever you want to teach, whatever you love, whatever you're passionate about. You do have to come up with the classes, also known as the courses in OutSchool, but that also means that you have complete creative control. While you don't have to turn in lesson plans, you do have to get your classes approved. But once you get a class approved, you can teach that class over and over and over as many times as you want. You can even cha change the age groups. You can change the length of the class. You can change the price of the class. You can edit that class. The only thing you cannot edit after a class is approved is what type of class it is. And we'll talk about class types in a different video. But for the most part, you can edit a class and just keep teaching it over and over and over. So once you've created a class, the work for that class is done pretty much. Now because the door is wide open with what you can teach, with a few exceptions, and we'll talk about that in a different video, many teachers are overwhelmed with what to teach. I have a new video coming right after this one on how to decide what to teach on OutSchool, so stay tuned for that. But for now, I would say definitely start with either your passion or what comes easy for you, what's comfortable for you to teach. You can always add new lessons and topics to your library after you get started. It's unlike really anything we as traditional teachers have ever experienced, just getting to teach what we wanna teach. It might be hard to wrap your brain around not being the third grade math teacher or the seventh grade science teacher or the first grade reading teacher. You can be all of those or you can be none of those. You can be the art teacher, the music teacher, the teacher that does Play-Doh in every class. You could be the cake decorating teacher or the teacher that teaches video game skills. You can teach yoga or jazzercise or have tea parties. You get the idea. 
So for what you teach, again, that could just definitely be a pro and a con, however you look at it. I do love the fact that I can teach half of half of what I teach is already planned for me by VIP Kid. I just show up, roll out of bed and teach. And then I also do love having a creative outlet where I get to create my own classes. That is the most fun for me too. Before I started teaching without school with VIP Kid, I really was starting to feel stifled because I was teaching the same thing every day for 3,700 lessons. And you just kind of get to you know, start feeling like a robot sometimes. So I have found that adding in out school and giving me that creative outlet has given me exactly what I was missing with VIP Kid. And it's really given me the best of both worlds. Okay, the third category I wanna talk about is qualifications. Now, VIP Kid requires a bachelor's degree in any field and at least one year of experience working with kids. Now, you can work from anywhere in the world, but you must be eligible to work in the US or Canada. I'm so excited to offer OutSchool as another option for people who would love to teach online and do this kind of job working from home, but they didn't have a college degree. So of course, OutSchool does not require a degree. You must be 18 years or or older and basically just justify why you would be a good fit for the company. What are you an expert in or what is your passion? What experience have you had with kids in the past? Why would you be a good teacher? Also, you must reside full time in the US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, or the UK. And both companies require you to pass a background check as we are working with kids. The next category I wanna to talk to you about is the age group. And basically with both companies, I feel like this is a huge pro. You get to teach the age group that you wanna teach. You get to pick the ages for out school, specifically the ages. And, and they do ask that you don't have more than a five year age gap in your classes. So you can have a class with um, 10 to 15 year olds or, um, you know, 13 to 18 year olds. However, I feel like classes sell better if they're even closer in age. Um, you know, maybe four to seven, um, seven to nine, that sort of thing. Just That's just my personal opinion. And then of course with VIP Kid, you also get to choose um, your level. You don't get to choose the ages, but you get to choose the level of students that you want to work with. Are they on level one? Are they on level seven? Okay, next I want to talk about pay. Now this is a really exciting one. First, VIP Kid consists of 25 minute classes. It's a five minute buffer in between, so we're just going to say 30 minute classes for the sake of comparison. So let's say a 30 minute class with VIP Kid, and it's one student per class. Now, VIP Kid offers you a base pay based on your qualifications, your experience, and your interview. So if you're making $10 per 25-minute class with VIP Kid, you're basically making 20 bucks an hour, which is pretty good to teach in your pajamas every morning. Now, without school, you get to decide the length of the class, how many students you will allow to enroll in the class, and best of all, you get to decide what each student will pay for the class. Now the big difference is I said each student will pay for the class. Let's take this same pay that I make with VIP Kid and that's not exactly what I make but I don't think that I'm supposed to say what I make on a public platform. I feel like that's in the VIP Kid guidelines. So let's say that I make $10 per VIP Kid class. Let's say I also charge $10 for an out school class, but I allow 10 students to take that class at a time. So the same time frame, a 30 minute class, the same price, $10, but it's per student. Instead of a one-on-one -on -one VIP kid class, I can have 10 students in my out school class. So for 30 minutes, that class can make $100. Now, OutSchool gets 30% of that. They do your advertising. They are the ones that connect you to the parents who are wanting their kids to take these classes. So their, their fee is 30%. So I would still make $70 in 30 minutes versus $10 in 30 minutes with VIP Kid. See the potential there? Now let's say I taught two of those classes back to back. I've just profited $140 in an hour versus $20 in an hour. 
Okay, the next topic is parent communication. With VIP Kid, you really do not communicate with the parents directly. And I, again, kind of consider this a pro. <laughs> There's a language barrier. I feel like it's easier just to communicate through the platform. And you really don't communicate unless uh, they leave the parents leave you feedback and then you can comment on their feedback. And you can kind of have a small dialogue that way, which is nice but I don't mind VIP kid handling all of my parent communication. <laughs> now without school, parents and teachers can contact each other um, directly through the website. So parents can send you a message in the classroom. Parents can send you a message through uh, conversations um, under the, a tab on the website. And these things will be sent to your email. You'll get an email alert that you have um, a, either a request from a parent or you have a question from a parent. So that's pretty nice. And then you and the parent just kind of email back and forth and you can talk about, you know, if you've got to cancel a class or they can ask you, hey, I love this class. Can you schedule it in another time? I can't make this time frame. Or I love this class, but my son doesn't really fit the age limit. Can you make the same class and open it up to this age limit? Another thing about communication with VIP Kid, uh, class feedback is required for every single class that you teach. In fact, your pay depends on you leaving that class feedback. However, without school, you do not have to leave any feedback for the classes. You don't leave parent feedback. Your child did this well. He needs to work on this skill. None of that. I do like to leave just a little quick snippet that I send out to all the parents. I just leave a, a message in the classroom just thanking them for coming. Um, I would love their feedback. Okay, now let's talk about cancellations. If you are a VIP kid teacher, chances are you have stressed about cancellations before. <laughs> you know that VIP kid has a pretty strict cancellation policy, which they, they need to. They've got 100,000 teachers in their system and they've got to have a strict cancellation policy, as you can imagine. So, um, but you know that when you cancel, there are different levels of cancellations soft, medium, hard cancellations, a medium and hard cancellation count towards your contract renewal. <laughs> and you know, um, you have to pay out of pocket for those cancellations and basically anything short of death or being in the hospital counts as a medium or hard cancellation. It's just a little stressful um, because when you do have to cancel, you know, um, you worry about how that will affect you. And what I've learned is your cancellations do not affect you know, your classes, that's not going to affect students booking you. Um, but I do know that teachers worry about um, after having to cancel so many times, will they get a contract renewal? And a VIP kid does allow six cancellations within six months, and they do not count more than two cancellations a day. So if you've got seven classes lined up that morning, you had to cancel all seven, that will still only count for two cancellations. So that's good school's cancellation policy is much more relaxed. Basically, they ask you, please don't cancel a class or any later than 24 hours of class time. So if it's within that 24 hours of class time, they ask you, please don't cancel that class unless it's absolutely necessary. Um, but anytime you do have to cancel a class, please offer a makeup class time so that parents can um, take that class, uh, you're responsible for issuing a refund, but basically you're in control of that. Uh, it's not affecting any kind of contract or anything like that. And you really, it just feels so amazing that if you did have to cancel a class, like I don't have to stress if I needed to cancel my classes, I would just contact those parents. Now, if I had you know, cancellations that weren't necessary or that happened more than a couple of times, then I would definitely be concerned about my classes getting booked. OutSchool definitely stresses customer service and putting the customer first. And so just think about that. If you have to cancel your classes, what you will do to make it right for those uh, parents who've enrolled their learners in your class. Okay, next topic is professional development. And I would say that both companies offer lots of support as far as trainings and video and reading material. 
but I definitely believe that VIP Kid has them beat on the workshops that you can take. And this only makes sense when you think about it. VIP Kid is asking us to teach their material, their lesson slides, using proven ESL teaching strategies with a very specific goal in mind to teach students English. And OutSchool is asking you to teach what you want to teach and teach it how you want to teach it with the belief that the students who connect with your personality and your teaching style will find you. While every VIP Kid teacher is different and brings a slightly different twist to the classroom, OutSchool content and material is as unique as the teacher. So in my opinion, it would be hard and not really necessary to have tons of generic workshops on how to teach your OutSchool lessons, especially since the goals and objectives for each class are unique. Okay guys, next to last category is community of support. In my opinion, both companies offer a great deal of community and support, mainly on Facebook. While they both send out newsletters and emails, most of the instant help is found in the Facebook groups. There are larger official Facebook groups for both VIP Kid and OutSchool. And then there are smaller Facebook groups for each company as well. Some of those are official, meaning they are endorsed by the companies, and some of them are not. They are teachers and recruiters that offer lots of help for teachers trying to get hired with either company. Of course, you're going to find lots more Facebook groups for VIP Kid just because it's such a large company. 100,000 teachers and 700,000 students. But according to OutSchool, at the beginning of this year, 2020, they had 1,000 teachers. And in March of this year, they actually put out kind of an all call. They put it out there, we are hiring 5,000 teachers ASAP to meet the demands that COVID-19 brought on with everyone distance learning and all of a sudden wanting to take classes from home. So there is a huge difference in the scale of the two companies. Okay, and the last thing I want to address is the support from each company. Both companies offer support where you can send in an email um, with any issues. With VIP Kid, they call this a ticket. If you've got an issue with VIP Kid, you just open a ticket and that ticket stays open until the issue is resolved. Now, with VIP Kid, of course, there is a little bit of a language barrier. So I have heard teachers um, complain in, in some groups that they have had trouble communicating their issue and so they've had to send in a ticket multiple times and restate slightly their initial request. Um, I have never experienced this with VIP Kid. I have only ever experienced um, very swift you know, communication and um, everyone has been very friendly and approachable and I've only ever even had to send in a couple of tickets over the last um, two years. So uh, my issues have been dealt with very promptly um, and they're just very friendly and approachable and easy to work with in my personal experience. And I expect that I will have the same experience without school. In the few interactions that I've had since beginning work for the company, such as my Zoom training and my new teacher training, both of my uh, mentor teachers there were very encouraging, very positive and helpful. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful to see the similarities and differences of these two very popular online teaching companies. Remember, you can do it. It might change your life and I'm your biggest cheerleader. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.